So we are still in Cape Town and today I am checking something off my bucket list and I am so excited. Quick bite before getting on the boat and we even have freshly made scones that she made. Amazing. Thank you. So one of the first people you meet at Hedso is Yasmin and she is amazing. So this morning we are leaving early for a excursion. You'll see, you already know probably. Um, but she made us breakfast early, so we, she was making scones actually last night when we came back, and they are amazing. I'm still finishing it off. Um, and then she was like, well, just in case you get hungry, she brings out like some crackers and cheese all wrapped up. She's just like a good soul, if that makes sense. She's amazing. We just made it to our final destination after a very scenic road. Today <laughs> so we beautiful. today we are going shark cage shark diving with our friends at African Shark Eco Charters. Yeah. Very excited about that. This is like a bucket list thing for me. So we'll see. We'll see what the, the day has for us. First, we gotta go grab our wetsuits. It's the most dangerous part of your day, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> I can go with that. Morning, morning. Before to go check out the sharks, we are doing a quick stop and go see the seal. It's an island literally full of seal. At first I thought they were rocks, but there's literally thousands of seals. spot they're like I'm pretty sure I see dolphins over there we come over here and the amount of dolphins that we are seeing right now and they're kind of like racing in front of the boat and under <laughs> underneath the boat it is so cool I've taken the bait already, so it's time to go change. It's slightly still chilly out, and so I have my vest on while I uh, put my wetsuit on. But that's okay. These are thick wetsuits. A little tight, but it's gonna keep us warm. Guys, meet Gerald. This seal has been a problem for the last few months because every time the boats are coming, they put the bait in the ocean and then he's trying to rip them off the line. So they named him Gerald. Apparently he has also a less friendly and polite name. So they brought lots of snacks and drinks for us as well. So we're gonna split them up while we wait for the sharks to uh, come a little closer to the cage. So the sharks are coming a little bit more regular. So they're just playing around with the seal and everything. But we're gonna get ready, geared up. And the water's a little bit dirty today we here. So we just have to make sure we listen to their cues to be like, okay, left, right, where is the shark? So we know exactly where to look when it's coming up. And we got it. How do we look? Ready. Pretty good? <laughs> I think we look pretty good.
leaking. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Help yourself. I can't. Fun fact, all those people fishing are not looking for bass or salmon or anything like that. They're actually fishing squid. And apparently it's very delicious. So we're gonna try to find some today because uh, I do like squid or calamari, calamari, especially fried with a little bit of spicy mayo. <laughs> oh, best. Guys, thank you so much for having us. It was great. Guys, these types of experiences, sometimes when we film them, I really hope that we can just show you 50% on how cool it actually is in, and in person. And how it makes you feel like, okay, I had like a really sappy moment. I was sitting on top of the boat and I was like, I literally feel like crying because of how alive it makes you feel, if that makes sense. I don't know if I can put that into words properly, Yeah. but that was one of the best things that we have ever done together. Yeah. It, you need to check them out. And cool thing, so they're actually the only company that offer the scuba air underneath um, and it really does make a difference oh yeah for sure because you can stay there longer and really wait for the sharks and everything yeah. we had like i think three really really good shark sighting underwater that they came like within a meter uh, of the the cave and it was really really cool and on top of yeah. that we saw like what a hundred different dolphins and, oh my goodness. and thousands of seals. Yes. So that was really cool too. Anyway, I highly suggest it. I'm going to put all their details down below. This is definitely They're the company amazing. to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Now time to change. Trace is going to finish her coffee and then back on the adventure because this is not done. There's so much to see. Tracy, you're not tired. No, you're not. No, you're not tired. <laughs> you're not tired. <laughs> Few moments later. Ta -da, all changed up. Special mention for Tracy's shoes very very nice and fancy so now we're gonna go back i think to the v and a waterfront because yeah. yesterday like we were really rushed and didn't see much of it and we no. didn't even walk to the end and it's so cool such like our kind of vibe yeah, yeah. and i just feel like we missed a lot of stuff yeah so we're gonna go back and maybe i'll pick up my souvenir mug that i really want i buy mugs i like mugs. she does buy a lot of mugs <laughs> The little uh, ice cream stop. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Refreshing. It's not that warm though, but good. just one ice cream. So we just made it back to the waterfront. Victoria and Elford is what we figured out it was. Um, so we're gonna go a little bit on the inside one because I want to see if I can find a new dress for upcoming videos you're gonna see um, and then explore more of the outside because we kind of cut the outside short last time so let's go explore some more so fun fact it is actually Tracy's birthday tomorrow and this is the only reason why I allow her to come here and shop more the only reason the wow. only reason <laughs> Dress, but that's okay. Um, Mr. David decided to surprise me and got me my birthday present already. Stay tuned for next video. You'll find out what it is then. Um, but yeah, so let's go walk around some more. My favorite thing to do. <laughs> so the VNA waterfront is 300 acres worth of entertainment, store, restaurant, and everything you can imagine. And it is built in the oldest working harbor in South Africa. So as we were walking on the waterfront, the boardwalk, we were like, huh, there's boats here. And we're like, just for fun, let's check out the price because we're like, normally they're super expensive, especially yeah. last minute and the price is decent. So guess where we're going? On a sunset cruise. So this video <laughs> went from the most intense kind of <laughs> boat ride to the most relaxing one. I never thought so of it that, that way. So that was 480 
R per person. Mm -hmm. So it's not that bad. No, it's not and it comes bad. with a glass of bubbly. So let's go check it out. This boat looks phenomenal. So we may have had like our, a little drone accident. Basically was trying to like stabilize it because it couldn't figure out what was going on. And we both sliced our fingers open. Um, <laughs> my bandage has fallen off. So we needed band-aids. And Elastoplast came through with Mickey Webs. So this one here, let's see. It's a surprise every time. Ah, uh, Mimi. <laughs> so she's gonna save me. The catamarans, we have to go up front. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? I don't know what's saying. This is very nice and romantic and everything, but if we turn the camera around, <laughs> it's, it's a different perspective. Well, to be honest, when we first started going, there was like hardly anyone out here. Yeah. And then as soon as we started moving, everyone came out. Yeah, so. so see how beautiful it is? Just wait. <laughs> just came back from a great sunset cruise. And we started the day on a boat, we ended the day on a boat. It was a very, boat. very good day. Like the only thing we had really planned good. today was like the sharks in the morning. Yeah. We had no clue what we were gonna do for the rest of the day. And it ended up pretty good. Yeah. Now we're gonna go to bed and relax because tomorrow is actually Tracy's birthday. And make sure to subscribe and stay <laughs> posted for the next video basically, which is gonna be Tracy's birthday. And it's gonna be like all about Cape Town and it's foods, food scene. Yes. I don't know what food scene is, but that's, scene? that's what I was gonna say, it's cause I'm tired. So I'll see you guys. In the next one.